Hey, what's up all my freaks and geeks out there in YouTube land? I'm Go here, and today we will be reviewing Robots in Disguise Rail Spike. So let's head to the table and check them out. So here we are, and there he is. As you can see, we have all of Team Bullet Train here. Ready to go, just so everybody gets their, gets their screen time. Um, so here is Team Bullet Train, or as I like to call them, the Vibrator Triad of Justice. Because frankly, I mean, bullet trains look like that. Yeah. Anyway, this is the um, not the Japanese version because I was very quickly corrected when I called them Japanese. This is the Korean version of these figures. And uh, as you can see here, they're all very nice. And just on a side note, I was practically begged to do this review ever since I. Uh, Shot the video, you know, telling you guys that I had gotten him and other figures. It was during one of my haul videos. And, um, I was pretty much begged to do this review by a certain someone on YouTube. You know who you are. But anyway, we're starting off with Mr. Rail Spike, who is pretty much the leader of Team Bullet Train. The Vibrator Triad of Justice. And as you can see, he is a bullet train. There's not really much to it. He is a bullet train. A nice white and blue bullet train. You now he has right here, if we can focus in on it. If we can focus in. Uh, there we go. Kind of, sort of. It says 500 Cybertron. There we go. 500 Cybertron, which I thought was a nice little touch. And um, each of these trains actually has a little connector right here. They all do. You see, so they can actually can link. They, they all have a, a little port under their nose here. So you actually can connect them all. They can super link, which I thought was kind of cool. Nice little touch. Just like in the show when they all kind of link to get to the space bridge. But, um, back to Rail Spike. He has a bullet train. He has windows. He has blue. He has white. He has wheels. Little wheels here. Help him roll very nicely. Uh, other than that, not much to him. No gimmicks or anything. But still very nice. They, you know, very true to the real bullet train. They, they are all modeled after real uh, bullet trains. So, if you look them up, you, you will see pictures of them, and they are very true to the actual full-size bullet trains. So, very, very nice. So, we'll get down to the transformation. So, first thing I'm going to do is just kind of split this a little bit. And that little bit will come off. We'll save that for later. And we'll come here. Pull these down. These are going to be the legs. So I'll flip these bits forward here. That will make the feet. Pull these down. That makes a very nice big heel spur. Now you want to rotate these at the, uh, at the knee here. Like so. And now you want to come up here, split this, bring it down, rotate them so they're facing forward. You just bring the arm down, rotate the forearm, forearm, and right here, his head is actually on a spring, so when you bring this bit down right here, the head will pop up, and just bring this the rest of the way down. You just rotate the head. As his little skirt flaps here, you just kind of bring up. And this bit right here becomes his gun. You just flip this down. Come here, flip this bit down, which becomes the handle. It actually has a little button here. There's actually a little red LED in here, which does look all that impressive because, you know, it's very bright in here. But actually, you know, it's actually quite bright. You can plug that into his hand. 
which you really have to work to get this into his hand. It's really, there we go. You really got to work to get it in his hand. There's his gun. And there is Rail Spike in his robot mode. Which is very, very nice. The only gripe I have against this figure is the fact that he has a lot of exposed screws here. Just exposed screws everywhere. I wish they could have found a way to kind of cover these up a little bit, but that's the only real gripe I have. He has massive like, shoulder armor here. This makes him look cool. Almost like wings. And here, he actually has this little chest bit right here is actually a Rail Racer's head. Which is actually very similar to Rail Spike's head. They have kind of the same face. The same head, pretty much. So it's almost like, you know, when they combine, Rail Spike's head just inflates. Like his ego. His ego just inflates because he knows he's the leader. And he's running this thing. So his head just grows. But... Oh no! Very nice figure. I, I like the way all these these bullet trains were were designed. You know, they all have very nice robot modes. Very very cool. You know, and they are you know quite quite poseable. You can actually kind of hit some pretty uh, you know if you kind of get them just right. You can kind of hit some good dynamic poses with these guys. So, yeah, very, very nice figure. I like him. I like him a lot. So, you know, as usual, I would say get him. Of course, he is part of a set. So if you get one, you have to get the other two. But, you know, honestly, he, he, he works well as a standalone figure. But, um... That's pretty much all I can say about this guy. Cool bullet train mode. Very nice robot mode. He gets two thumbs up from me. So, um, that is pretty much all there is to say. So, that is Robots in Disguise Rail Spike. And this is MGO. Rolling out. You know who you are. <laughs>